are very few brands that are as uniquely American and as globally distributed as Coca-Cola. Coke's advertising and marketing efforts are really the stuff of legend. But can a brand with this much history make the transition to digital? As Group Director Worldwide Interactive Marketing for the Coca-Cola Company, Michael Donnelly is responsible for, now hold on, increasing the understanding, testing, adoption, and effective use of digital marketing and emerging media amongst Coke's marketers throughout the world. Michael, welcome to Digital Life. Hello, Shelley. So that is quite a title, sir. Thank you. It's uh, quite a challenge as well. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about Coca-Cola, the social marketer. Coke is everywhere around the world, and now Coke is everywhere in the social media space. Let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah, we're pretty fortunate. We've got a brand that most people love and have great things to say about. And frankly, we're kind of social by nature. You have a Coke with friends, you have a Coke with family, you have a Coke generally at good times. And uh, it really puts positions us in a great place compared to brands that have all kinds of other challenges that might be dealing with the economy or difficult business situations. So what I want to understand is Coca-Cola is something that's a, it really it's woven into the fabric of our lives, certainly here in the States and, and truly around the world. It's so well distributed. But how does that play in a social media space? How do I how do you make the transition from a brand that I kind of go to the supermarket and buy and drink to something I want to type about, for lack of a better way to describe it. The terrific thing about social media is for the very first time ever, it allows us to build sustainable relationships with our consumers, two-way conversation where we're talking with our customers rather than at our customers. Historically, with television and out of home and print, we're basically delivering our experiences and our brand messages where it's a one-way conversation. And for the first time ever with social media, we can actually have a conversation with our customers and we can learn from them, we can listen to them, we can enable them to share their manifestations of their brand. So how does that work? I, I, I saw a wonderful social site called Coke URL, where I could go and shorten my URLs just like Bitly or Tiny URL, but it was all Coke branded. I was like so surprised at this, and it was kind of cool because it, it was all obviously red and Coca-Cola, but did that help you in any way? Did that, make the, did that make the brand more accessible, or what was the theory behind that? We think so. The jury's still out right now and the results of that, but the, you know, the irony is no other brand had done that before us, and what we recognized is that no one had really ever heard of a Bitly URL or a Tiny URL, and it was terrific branding opportunities in using those, so why not give the customer some type of confidence in the use of our brand as well as take, a, take advantage of every one of those impressions when they're used. You know what I thought was interesting about that? It was so in the culture. And for those of you out there who don't know what a, a bit.ly or a tiny URL is, when you're working with Twitter and you send a tweet, you only have 140 characters. And so in order to fit a URL, which is a domain name, to get someone to go to a website, you have to shorten the URL. And the tools are either bit.ly's or tiny URLs. And here Coca-Cola made this fantastic tool that's kind of Coke branded, but it's so in the culture. What gave you the idea? Uh, frankly, it seemed like common sense. Like I said, we're giving away this branding opportunity and we're using these things everywhere, specifically within Twitter, but also throughout all of social media. And it just seemed like a common sense approach. And you'll quickly see it with some of our other brands as well very soon. And that's an exclusive you heard here. Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad to have an exclusive on Digital Life. So talk to me a little bit about the other kinds of social media. There are fan pages uh, on Facebook. Does, does Coke have a pretty decent Facebook presence? We do. We right now have an excess of 4 million people. Uh, we were just named last week in, uh, by MSNBC and the Facebook 100 is the number brand, number one brand on Facebook. So how does someone interact, uh, and you'll forgive me, I'm acting as the consumer, I'm asking the questions, I kind of know the answer to this, but seriously, Michael, why would I want to be the fan of Coca-Cola on Facebook? What does it get me? Uh, you know, that's a question that I think is different for everyone. I think one of the great things about Coca-Cola and going back to my initial statement about having a privilege of leading this brand that everyone kind of loves is people become a fan uh, of Coke for many different reasons and certainly different than many other brands. Uh, we're not giving anything away, uh, at least not on a regular basis. People become a fan of Coke because they're kind of showing that they have, they're associated with the values of Coke and they've been drinking Coke for absolute years. And we give them exclusive content and we enable them to share, as I said earlier, the manifestations of their brand. So they're uploading their pictures and their videos and things associated with our brand. Uh, and it's just great. It's really what we call our fans first approach. So with the fans first approach to Coke, I, I basically have an opportunity through the brand to do a lot of the social networking that I would do in a Facebook branded environment, in a MySpace branded environment. But Coke is sort of providing this to me. And, and the presence that you have there, what's the feedback been? Uh, the presence has been fantastic and the feedback has been really good. The consumers, I think, really appreciate our very sincere and candid and respectful um, enabling of them to do their thing. Frankly, they were there before we were. The fan page that we have was created by two fans uh, last summer. Uh, quickly grew to over a million before we uh, really became aware of it and changed our strategy. At that time, I was extremely happy having tens of thousands of fan clubs. It seemed silly to me to have fan clubs that were owned by brands. It seemed like a disconnect. Right. 
No, that makes total sense. You know, this is a, an unbelievable subject, and you have done such a great job in digital at Coca-Cola. Mike Donnelly from the Coca-Cola Company, you're watching Digital Life. Watch Digital Life with Shelley Palmer Tuesdays at 10 p.m. Eastern on WNBC's New York Nonstop, or catch it online anytime at ShellyPalmer.com.